So this is a couple days old, and I know a lot of people have already covered it, but I wanted to cover it just to put it in my little repertoire of what I'm talking about as far as like uh, big people getting into Bitcoin. This is billionaire, billionaire with a B, hedge fund investor Drunken Miller. That's a good name. Says he owns Bitcoin and CNBC interview. And pretty much what he says, and he pretty much shocked everybody because this guy apparently is like a legend in the traditional investing world, just like PTJ, just like Paul Tudor Jones. When you have these types of people been around for quite a bit of time, have quite a bit of knowledge, and they have the public ear and they're saying, hey, Bitcoin's not bad. I invest into it. It shifts the perception, not that it's really he's going to move it. I mean, just his little bit amounts of Bitcoin. If he does, he may have a lot. I don't know. Uh, but just by him mentioning it and saying it changes the public perception. I think this is a good thing for Bitcoin. And it's quotes. First of all, it quotes that Drunken Miller, who just weeks ago said he's going to be shorting the dollar, is going long on Bitcoin. That says something right there. Though he said his gold position is many, many more times larger than his Bitcoin allocation, Drunken Miller predicts his Bitcoin would outperform. And that's the thing about investing. We're always looking for an asymmetrical investment. So yes, gold will probably go up at some point. Sure. But is it going to go up 10x, 20x, 100x? No, it's not. There's no way because it's already at sitting around $12 trillion. So it's not going to go from $12 trillion to $120 trillion. It doesn't work like that. But Bitcoin is only around $300 billion or $280 billion. Could it go up uh, 10x, 100x? Sure. Why not? Well, maybe not 100x. Let's Let's just keep it at 10x and just, you know, about, you know, 140,000. That could totally happen. It also states that, frankly, if the gold bet works, the Bitcoin bet will probably work because it's thinner, more e-liquid, and has a lot more beta to it. Basically, it's just better. I can transfer Bitcoin to anyone, anywhere in the world uh, for next to nothing. And it's the best performing asset class of all time. It's beaten gold, oil, stocks, everything. Used to cost a nickel. Now it's costing around ah, almost 16000 That's why I heavily invest into it. Bitcoin elevator pitch. Very simple today. Anyhow, it has a lot of attraction as to our value to both millennials and the new West Coast money. And they got a lot of it. Drunk Miller also is anticipating a three to four year decline in the dollar. So look, I'm not going to get into the whole dollar thing. We've talked about that before. But I just wanted to, to have one more, one more guy in the little army of, of people that I tend to talk about when I start to talk about why Bitcoin's going to make it. And I always talk about the same type of thing because if you're new, you don't know this. If you're old, you get you get kind of bored of me saying the same thing. But I have to say the same thing. It's because there's new people and people got to hear it like eight or 10 times. But it's just like Fidelity Digital Assets with 8 trillion assets under management. I mean, they're in the game for digital currencies or digital assets and cryptocurrency. You got TD Ameritrade, 1 trillion assets under management. You got Van Eck and they're huge gold bugs. And they put this out in January and said, look, Bitcoin is way better than gold and here's seven reasons why on top of that you got grayscale gobbling up everything as far as crypto as well as far as bitcoin and ethereum per, per se because there's so much demand for it as far as institutional investors you got this guy paul tudor jones who came out and said hey uh i'm a legend and i'm gonna invest a ton of money into uh bitcoin well not a ton but he's gonna put two percent of his total investments into bitcoin futures who knows what he's doing behind the scenes that's just what he said publicly on top of all these great public companies like MicroStrategy, Galaxy Digital Square, and all these companies that put a ton of money into it. And look how massively they are up in a very short amount of time. You're looking at MicroStrategy. They just got this uh, two and a half months ago, and they're almost 200 million. Do you think they're not looked at as visionaries? Galaxy Digital, they have 134. Hey, look, they're almost doubled. Square, 50, 75, not too bad. Not too bad for uh, about a month or so. And then it, it, the report just goes on and on and on. So these are the things I like to talk about because these are what will lead you to go, look, I think I'm in the right place at the right time doing the right thing. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's move on to our last piece, Q of the day. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Q of the day. We are at the uh, the Houston home. So it's going to look like this for the next uh, two or three weeks before we head back to uh, El Paso. Actually, we'll see how that works out because right now it's like a hotbed of activity for the COVID virus, but uh, we'll see how it all works. So today's Q of the day is actually a pretty good one, and it comes to us from Beth. And these are the kind of questions that uh, I really didn't think about until people ask me the questions. And so she states, uh, hey, Rob, thanks for offering uh, your website and free course resources for learning the how-tos of cryptocurrency assets investing, I've signed up. Congratulations, fantastic. And everybody, just so you know, uh, it's 100% free. So if you wanna sign up, danteachescrypto.com. So she says, I can't quiet my curiosity and I cannot find the answer on your website. So I'll come right and ask you, why are your courses free? 
I'm wondering if you're offering this for free as a beta testing scenario for future monetization, or I don't know what's going on. I tried to find a mission statement uh, that describes the impetus for this huge undertaking, but I didn't find one. Also didn't find any mention of, of affiliate or partnerships remuneration. No obvious ones anyway. I listen to each and every episode of Dan, so I'll watch and listen to see if you offer the answers. You seem like a down-to-earth person, and I can understand why you want to inform and educate the neophytes and encourage mass adoption. That's a no-brainer. It benefits us all, but most folks simply aren't so altruistic and magnanimous. So let me just uh, answer the question, which is, a, again, it's a pretty good question, just something I just didn't really think of. I just thought, well, I just give, put it out there for free, and then people would just sign up, and that's it, and that would be the big thing. But uh, it seems like I have gotten more and more of these these uh, emails, which is like, why are you doing it free? Why, why no one does this for free? Well, it's very simple. I did it for free because I wanted to do it for free, and that's the that's really the big thing. But I guess to give you a little insight into what led me to this decision, I'm gonna have you go to the website danteacherscrypto.com, and I'm gonna have you click on the blog. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So here we are at danteacherscrypto.com, and the very top, depending on what you're looking at, if you're looking at it on the desktop, it'll look just like this. If you're looking on a mobile device, the home sign up about reviews, blog, contact, and login will be like a little hamburger menu. It looks like three little lines. But what I want you to do is just to click on blog. And it's gonna scroll down right here, and it's gonna it's gonna talk about before you make your crypto millions, and it's gonna say read more. You're gonna click on that. So this is going to be a blog post. It's it's one of two that I have in there right now. The other one's uh, just about unstoppable domains and emails. But this is the this is the main one. Before you make your crypto millions, and what I talk about in this one is not just about you know what's going to happen when you make all your money and you're going to go off and do all these great things, but it really comes down to what do you do when you don't have to get up and go to work and work the nine to five and do absolutely nothing because you have enough money to sustain yourself. Now for you just listening to this, you think that's stupid. I know exactly what I would do. I would go on vacation, I would sit on the beach for the rest of my life and I would drink Mai Tais. Well, I'm here to tell you, it's not how it's gonna work. People need a driving force. People need something to look forward to. People need things and goals in their life. And I'm gonna tell you right now, there's a lot of instances where you're going to look back and go, man, I wish I would have known this. So I wrote this article for you, the person who's, if you're listening to this right now and you're investing any amount into cryptocurrency and digital assets, in the next 20 years, I'm pretty sure you're going to be a millionaire. Now, I'm, this is not financial advice. This is just my personal uh, opinion. But uh, there's a lot of examples where I talk about my myself personally, about how I went down a, a pretty rough path for a while and, and how I got out of it. But I just want you to read that real quick and it'll pretty much explain to you why I made everything for free uh, in this section. Also, I get emails like this, which I didn't really expect these, but I, I really am appreciative of them. And this is from Manuel. And Manuel says, hi Dan, just want to take a moment to congratulate you on your great crypto work and success uh, on platforms thus far and so much for a successful launch of this much anticipated resource website. I fully appreciate and valued your educational content, motivation, inspiration for many, many months. And I very much look forward to even greater added value in uh, weeks, months, and years. Wishing you all the best. Thanks again. Paying it forward. Greetings, best regards from your number one fan in Mozambique, Manuel. So I was like, wow, Mozambique. I don't know that place, um, but I believe it's not a really high paying area. And when I took a look at the average salary in Mozambique, it was 40,200 MZN. I was like, I don't know what the heck that is either. So I had to do a translation, uh, 40,200 uh, Mozambique uh, translate to $546 per month. That's how much they make per month. So if I would have done a website like this and I would have said, okay, it's gonna be 100 bucks a month, uh, that is 20% of someone's salary every single month just to come to my website. And that's just in one area. And I don't know what you're going through, but why would I make it super expensive or even charge it all if it's just information that I have? So to get back to, to Beth's point and her questions, which was, you know, why did you do it for free? Well, that's part of the reason. Uh, but then there's another part where she says, well, you know, this is like a huge undertaking. Really not, I mean, not really. I mean, if you, if you, it just took me a lot of time just to take the information that was already out there, things that I already done uh, in the YouTube channel and parse it all down and uh, make it simplified. So it just takes time. It's not very hard. It's not labor intensive. It's not like I'm out there digging ditches and, and putting up walls or something like that uh, 12 hours a day, seven days a week. It just takes a little bit of effort. And then after that, I mean, it, it can sustain itself for, for quite a bit of time. So, so there's that part. So when we talk about free, 
to me, it's not that big of a deal. I've done websites for quite some time, and uh, it's uh, not uh, so big of a thing. Just takes again, just takes time. And then she talks about here. Try to find a mission statement on the site that describes the impetus. That's a huge undertaking. Also, any mention of affiliate uh, remuneration. That's remuneration. I could be wrong. I don't know. Or a partnership. So I actually had to think about that. I'm like, you know what? I really should uh, disclose everything that I'm doing here on this website. So I redid the intro video when people come in for, for the website. And I, I tell them, hey, uh, there's going to be links here that are affiliate links. Just like when you, uh, when I'm talking in the YouTube videos and I'm saying, hey, uh, go check out my Google spreadsheet which has all the different uh, uh, exchanges and wallets, things I recommend, don't recommend. Those are affiliate links. You do not have to use them. Uh, but if you do use them, like for Celsius, for example, uh, you will get $20 in Bitcoin and I will get $20 in Bitcoin. So again, you do not have to use them. You can go Google it and try to, you know, find the right one. Hopefully it's out there and there's no scammers, you know, uh, you know, taking over uh, the different Google searches and you can sign up for free. It's okay. So in that video, I talk about, okay, uh, on this one, there's a lot of affiliate links and they're throughout the whole website. Again, you don't have to use them. You can do whatever you want to. Uh, but then there was another question that that I think is going to come up, which is who paid, did anybody pay to put their information on your website? The answer is no. Nobody here pays me to put their information on the website. And these are just the things that I really didn't think about because I'm like, well, it's free. But I guess I have to put it, put it all in there. So I put that in the main members video, which is the first video that you must watch when you first uh, sign up. So uh, the only two individuals that have ever paid for a paid promotion on my YouTube channel has been two, CryptoTrader.tax, because I believe that uh, everybody's got to do taxes. So, I mean, you don't want to be like me and have to go through an audit. And uh, the second one is, is I trust because I believe everybody's going to need an, a, uh, an IRA to help them not pay so much uh, huge amounts in taxes. Now, you're going to pay things in taxes. It's just how it is. But with I trust, at least you can put up to $7,000 worth per year in cryptocurrency. Above that, well, they can't help you because that is the maximum amount allowed by law. So no one's going to get away from taxes per se, but it is a, a huge boom if you're looking for that, that situation. So uh, that is it. And uh, I'll just preface it with this. Um, these are good questions, and uh, I'm glad we can get them out of the way now so I don't have to deal with it later on. But uh, trust is a currency uh, that you can't buy. And the only reason that you have signed up or even think about signing up for my website, not just because it's free, it's because you trust me. So I'm not out here um, shilling some kind of crazy uh, exchange in loser town in Spamville or something like that so you can sign up and get all your money taken just so I can make a quick buck. That is ridiculous. Why would I do that? I never understood that as a business owner. Why would you, if you have a good business and a good business plan, then why would you do some crazy stupid thing where you would take away from the customer and the customer experience and then they won't use it anymore and then one person tells 10, 10 tells 100 and so on and so forth. It just it never made sense to me. I, I ran up with those businesses. I'm like, why do you do that? Just do the right thing and everything will work itself out. Don't be stupid. Anyhow, that's just me talking. All right, so I uh, hope that answers your question. And again, uh, it is uh, danteachescrypto.com, and uh, we'll be adding in more things as time goes on. I hope you enjoy it, and uh, that is it, hopefully, uh, for a Q of the day. All right, thanks. Let's jump back. So look, I hope that answered all your questions as far as uh, Dan Teaches Crypto. Here's the website itself, danteachescrypto.com. It's very easy to sign up. Uh, again, 100% free. Click on Start Learning and Start Learning. There's a little uh, snippet information right here, uh, but then you just sign up right there. And that's really it. So thanks again for watching the whole thing. I really appreciate it. If you like these types of videos, it's going to be two minutes going to pop up. I'm going to put the one about Brad Garlinghouse where he talked about the miners. And there's timestamps on all my videos so you can find exactly what it is quick and easy. And uh, that is it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.